At the time, I was, uh, I was working at a pharmaceutical company and not doing anything with my artwork. And there was a, a job opening at Cincinnati Nature Center. And before then, I had always just gone there to use their bookstore. They had a great bookstore. And they had an opening for an artist, which I applied for and got the job. And it was like a complete switch from working in a chemistry lab to then all of a sudden being an artist and illustrating nature subjects. Um, I worked on their exhibits and all their various publications and uh, did illustrations of natural history subjects, um, illustrations of birds and plants and whatever they needed for their educational uh, programs. Being a nature artist, uh, you learn about nature and vice versa. When you learn about nature, you become a better artist. And uh, as an artist, uh, especially with my illustrations, when I wanted to get the detail, it really forces you to look closely at your subject. You know, you look how a, a plant or an animal or insect is constructed. Um, you really see those details and that helps you learn. Well, I grew up in Cincinnati over in one of the western suburbs, um, but it really wasn't a suburb. It was more or less out in the country. There's lots of space, lots of woods and fields for us kids to run around in. And I think just being exposed to that as, as a child, being immersed in nature, um, kind of instills a, uh, a real respect and love for the outdoors. And as a child too, I loved to draw and my drawings were always, you know, birds or plants, you know, natural things. And I think maybe growing up uh, at a time when we were outdoors, out in nature all the time, kind of affects how I paint today.